Hello, today we're going to be looking at lesson 14, solving inequalities. So we're going to start with a situation, and I'll just read this out loud to you. The annual county carnival is being held this summer and will last five and a half days. Use this information and the other given information to answer each problem. You are the owner of the biggest and newest roller coaster called the Gentle Giant. The roller coaster costs $6 to ride. The operator of the ride must pay $200 per day for the ride rental and $65 per day for a safety inspection. If you want to make a profit of at least $1,000 each day, what is the minimum number of people that must ride the roller coaster? Write an inequality that can be used to find the minimum number of people which must ride the roller coaster each day to make the daily profit. So. First thing, we want to make at least $1,000. So that's going to be greater than or equal to 1,000. Well, what should be greater than or equal to 1,000? The $6 per person, and then you're spending $200, and you're also spending $65 each day. So this is our inequality, and now we're asked to solve it. So I'm going to combine my lot terms. Okay, at this point, after I've done this, I'll see I actually need enough people to ride and pay $6 per person so that I am bringing in $1,265. So I'll divide that amount by 6, and the number of people that I need to ride would be at least, I'm going to do some division here. Let me show you what's happening when I try this. 1265 divided by 6. So I'm getting this looks like crazy number, but I have to think about what am I what am I dealing with here? So I can I can write down my exact answer, but I'm dealing with people. I'm talking about people. So in order to make enough, I would need at least 211 people because if I only had 210 people to to ride and pay that would give me $1,260 and remember I need at least $1,265 so I have to have at least 211 people next question a youth summer camp but has budgeted $2,000 for the campers to attend the carnival. The cost for each camper is $17.95, which includes general admission to the carnival and two meals. The youth summer camp must also pay $250 for the chaperones to attend the carnival and $350 for transportation to and from the carnival. What is the greatest number of campers who can attend the carnival if the camp must stay within its budgeted amount? Okay. So there's a lot of information here and we need to pull it out. So they have budgeted $2,000. They could spend exactly $2,000 or they can spend less than $2,000 because you can go under budget, but you can't spend more money than you have. Okay, each camper is $17.95 and I'll use a C for camper, plus they're going to have to pay $250 and $350. I'm going to go ahead and combine that now. It's going to be $600. Okay. And this is for chaperones and transportation. So when I take away the cost for chaperones and transportation, that leaves me with $1,400 to spend on campers. So, $1,400 divided by $17.95 because $17.95 was the cost for one camper. I can have 
77.99 campers or less. Okay, can I have 77 campers and stay in budget? So, let's think about it. Whoops. 17.95 times 77. Okay. Plus the 600. Okay, that's under my 2,000, so I'm in budget there. What if I did 78 campers, though? 17.95 each plus the 600. Look at that. I'm just a tiny bit over. I'm 10 cents over. But that 10 cents is enough for me to be over budget, so that is not acceptable. The meaning there is, I'm going to interpret it, um... What is the greatest number of campers? So, the greatest number of campers who can attend the carnival is 77. Because 78 puts us over that limit. So that's not acceptable. Now we have one more question about this carnival. The carnival owner pays the owner of an exotic animal exhibit $650 for the entire time the exhibit is displayed. The owner of the exhibit has no other expenses except for a daily insurance cost. If the owner of the animal exhibit wants to make more than five hundred dollars in profits for the five and a half days. What is the greatest daily insurance rate he can afford to pay? So when we're looking at our problem, got a little off there. Um, the carnival owner is paying the exotic animal exhibit six hundred and fifty dollars. So that's what they're getting paid. Then they're going to have to pay five and a half days worth of insurance and I still want to make more than five hundred dollars so let's take away the 650 they're getting paid paying five and a half days worth of insurance still needing this to happen now we're going to divide by negative five and a half which means my inequality symbol is going to Reverse, and then do uh -oh. 150 divided by 5.5, and, and the negative divided by negative is positive, 27 and 27 hundredths repeating. So, now we have to think about what's the greatest daily insurance rate he can afford. So, he would need it to be less than... 2727. 27. So the greatest that he could pay would be the 2727, 27, not the repeating. So the greatest daily insurance, greatest rate he can pay is. 27, 27. All right.